Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, so I have a couple of journal flip throughs I want to share with you. Um, the first one that I'm going to share with you is the Yuletide journal that I've been working on. Um, we've had a couple of videos on um, the YouTube channel and I have it complete. I went ahead and finished it up off camera. So it's a chunky one and has that crunchy, comfy feel. Um, so I have some, it's almost like a burgundy, um, sorry silk here to wrap around. And we decorated the cover in one of the videos. I used brown wax thread to um, put a pamphlet stitch in um, to hold the signature in. So I'm just going to do a really quick flip through. Some of this you've seen in previous videos. Okay, so in the front cover of the pocket, this is a Christmas card that I received last year. Um, and so I just turned that into a journal card. And the sentiment on the inside says believe. And I thought it was fitting with the door and the window and this little kid looking in. Um, it says believe. And the sentiment inside of the card said in the joy and wonder of Christmas time. So I glued that on there. I thought that was really neat. And there's lots of room in here to put more, you know, more things. So here we have our Yuletide paper from Blue Fern Studio. I coffee dyed doily. Um, this is just coffee dyed paper and we made this little cluster um, and I attached that on the edge of the page there. Here we have a fabric tuck spot that's sewn to the coffee dyed paper and this is just a part of a placemat. It's red and you could write on the back or decorate it. Um, this book was getting pretty fat so I tried to put a lot of thinner things in the tuck spots. Um, this is a, a tuck spot made in um, some Christmas music paper and this we made in a video it is um, from the Yuletide Blue Fern Studio Collections um, ephemera pack this was the packaging and we cut the top off and we made it into a really cute journal card okay so that one's in there and this little tuck spot here just has some um, Christmassy paper it has like an embossed um, snowy scene there I don't know if you can see that or not but I have that tucked in there and um, I used a flower. Um, there's a lady, and she ha she's on one of the Facebook groups. And I'll try to put her information below this video. And her name is Nancy Morin, and she um, is in Canada, and she ships to the United States and Canada, and she does these flowers. And I asked her if she could do them flat for me, and I ordered two sets of them. And you guys, look at this. Aren't they just amazing? Like, she... I don't know about you guys, but I've tried making these little flowers before, and I just do not have the patience for it. So I have two packs in here, and she did send me a couple extras. Um, but they're in a Christmas theme, and for the most part, they're pretty flat. Um, and they're all, you know, Christmassy, and I'm excited about it. Uh, they're the perfect things to put on tags, or that, you know, when something just needs a little something, or in your journals, and they're, they're just... There, there's so much work and I would gladly pay her to make them because she does such a good job. So I have a whole basket of them here. And um, like I said, I'll share her information <coughs> oh, sorry. in the bottom of this video. I also am going to talk to her about um, possibly carrying them in my Etsy shop. So we'll, we'll see what she says about that. And that way she could ship them to me and then, you know, they're easily available that way as well. So I have tons of them. Like, I mean, look at this. It's it's full. And I just put them in here because I'm doing Christmas constantly, so I don't have to dig them in and out of a tub or something. I'll put them away later. But then they're right at the ready when I need them. But thank you, Nancy. I absolutely love them. I've ordered from her in the past, and I was, I was happy with those ones as well. Okay, back to this. Um, this is one of the Blue Fern Studio um, papers, and I just put some lace on the edge of some of these pages. And here we did this pocket and this tag in a video. So you can journal on the back of that. I wanted to leave some of the pretty paper so you could see um, that as well. And I thought that worked, you know, pretty good with that. Okay, so here's some coffee dyed paper. This is one of our Comfort and Joy digital, um, the digital kit on our Etsy shop. And this is another one of the Blue Fern studio papers. I just put some blue lace on the edge of that. You can journal on here. Um, use a piece of the ephemera for a little tuck spot. Here we have a little tag in there and there is some paper on the back for journaling. Another one of those little embossed um, folded pieces of papers and there's just an inventory card in here. 
So you can journal on the back of that. And that's on coffee dyed music paper. Here we have some craft paper you can write on. And I just stamped um, Happiest Season of All. This is a part of um, the Christmas Ideals page. And I, I thought it was really fitting this, you know, I like the look of it. And, and so I put our fabric flip in here. And there's just some fabric and then you can flip that up for a journal spot underneath of there. Okay, and then there's some trim on the back of that one. Here is one of our, it's like a holiday wreath book. And I took this out of in this cluster that we made together. Put that on there. And here's a little ledger meeting paper or something. Um, this was some, I believe, coffee dyed ledger paper in the, the ink, or graph paper it was, and the ink had bled through it. So I thought that looked pretty neat. Here's some of the blue fern paper, and you can journal all over. There's all kinds of journaling room. You could even journal on here, on here. And this one here, if you remember um, when I put it in my chopper, and I cut, because this was two digital stitched together, and I trimmed it because it was sticking out of my book, and I'll never do that again. So I cut the stitching. So I ended up by putting um, lace on both sides. So it looks like two pages are stuck together, but it's not. I just covered that up, and so you can't tell. Okay, here's another one of the blue fern with, I made another little cluster down here for like a little flip over. Um, the coffee dye paper, another one of the Blue Fern Studio. And I just love this gold trim on the edge of this page. It just, like, this paper is so, like, rich but comfy, and I, I, I just love it. It was so fun to work with, and I think it looks so neat. And we made this, um, this pocket inspired by Natasha at Treasure Books. Um, in one of my videos, I did go ahead and decorate a little bit more on it. I covered my horrible stamping. That was my fault. And put some, um, it's just some ticking and some sequins and a flower music paper behind there and some lace on the edge. So then when it opens up, um, we had our, our tags in here that we had made on the video. And then there's another tag in here. And I decided to just leave these punched because I didn't want the bulk in the center. So I didn't add anything to the punch there. But I mean, they're just fine as they are. And there we have that one. And there's room in here. You can add more in there if you want to. Whoever's journal this is. This journal is available in my Etsy shop, Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, okay, so, and then on the other side here, we have for write, for um, more writing space. And I just added a flower, some sequins, and again, music paper. And then a little sentiment that was on the bottom of um, someone's branding strip on their paper. I cut off and I saved it. It says, Christmas is doing a little something extra for someone. So I thought that was fitting. And again, the gold trim on this page here. Coffee dyed paper in here, a little piece of the Yuletide ephemera. In this little tuck spot, I just put some lace and a piece of the ephemera in there. Another one of the inventory tags and some ephemera, which you can write on or put it anywhere you would like. Um, you can fit some more in here as well. Another little piece of the ephemera. Again, the two laces on the edge of that one that we goofed. Okay, here's the Blue Fern Studio, um, the graph paper, the meeting paper. This is the other side of the wreath catalog, or book page. Um, coffee dyed paper. And here's the other side of that ideals. And I just made this little belly band here, and I just cut the insides of that out. Added some flowers and layered that up um, with one of our uh, Mixed Media Minnesota's Christmas Word labels on there. And this journal card we made, I put some coffee dyed paper on the back. So I thought that was really fun. Okay, the back of the ideals page, here's the other side of our craft paper for journaling. And on here I stamped love and joy come to you. And here I just made a little tuck spot with some of the ephemera and flowers. And there is a craft envelope in here, it says tis the season. So you can put goodies in there. And then just a inked or a dyed uh, paper doily. I thought that was neat in there and you can use it anywhere you would like in your journal. And then I have another one of these tucked up in here um, on the back of our music paper. And here we have a tuck spot and I just put a Christmas sugar cookie recipe in there. You can write on the back. There's lots of room for um, more things to be added in there. This is um, another one of our Comfort and Joy Digitals as is this one, they're stitched together. Here's a coffee dye paper. 
and another one of the Blue Fern Studio Papers with some lace on the edge. Some of the ephemera on Christmas music paper. And this could be used as a tuck spot or as is. And then um, we have the other side of the paper with the fabric tuck spot. Again, just a little place um, placemat in there. You can journal on the back, decorate it however you want. And our copy dyed doily and the last page of the Blue Fern studio paper and in the back here we have another one of the fabric pockets and I simply put a Christmas card in there and there's lots of room to add more things in there and this is the one that has the bubble mailer inside and so it's got that crunchy feel it's got a good feel to it and it's nice and thick it's a fat one and that's tied with some burgundy sari silk so I'm going to set that one aside and then we're going to go to the next one okay this one here my sister made and this one is tied around with some sari silk and it's made out of um, I believe this is a vintage uh, a vintage print here and it's on green velvet so it's got the warm fuzzy Christmas feel there's lace um, covering the spine so then when we flip in here this is like an upholstery fabric it stiffens it up a little bit Okay, so let's just flip through here. We have some coffee dyed paper, some book pages, and she has a little pocket in the bottom of there with a, looks like a music flashcard in there. A little cluster with um, a label from Mixed Media Minnesota's um, Christmas Word Labels. And here we have some um, Prima paper in there with a little ruffle on the top. Some more coffee dyed paper. We have a little uh, partial page in here and she has a envelope um, clipped in there. And that envelope is from the Comfort and Joy um, Digital on Mixed Media Minnesota. And then inside here, she has a little piece of ephemera, a little journal card tucked in there. And there's lace on the back of that. And that's just clipped in over top of the partial page there. And that is, um, Blue Fern Studio, I think it's a cheerful Christmas or something. This is stitched wrapping paper, isn't that pretty? I just love that wrapping paper. So it's stitched together and it gives you a whole different texture and feel in there and it's so pretty. Here she has a horizontal belly band with a big tag um, for journaling front and back. Some lace on there and a ruffle and all kinds of fun stuff. There is room to slide something else in there as well. And that's on coffee dyed paper. And here we have some, I believe this is um, avocado, or no, this is cabbage dyed, I think. And here she has a little paper cluster with a bow in here. Look at this cute little envelope. There's actually a little piece in there you can pull out. Isn't that cute? And again, a little a word tag up there. Here she has some um, eyelet trim, eyelet lace on the edge of this one. And here's some more of the digital, and there's lace stitched on that one as well. Another one of the digitals. Um, coffee dyed music paper here, and it has a Christmas card flip out for writing on there. Another one of the cabbage dyed blue papers. Here's a coffee dyed graph paper. And a little pocket in the bottom with a cute little cluster on there, and there's a guest check tucked in there. Here's some more blue fern studio paper in there. This is one of the Comfort and Joy Digitals stitched on the edge as well as this one. And here we have some more Blue Fern Studio paper in our center. She has another envelope um, paper clips in there. There's lace on the bottom. That envelope again is from our Comfort and Joy Digital. And here is another one of the digitals again stitched um, with the backing sheet and lace on the edge. So this is the other side, so we have the blue fern paper and the graph paper. Here she has a little tuck spot, isn't that cute? The little Christmas card in there, or Christmas journal card in there. It's cute little Christmas carolers. Um, some more of the cabbage dyed paper, coffee dyed music paper. And there's another little tuck spot in here with an envelope. There's a little tag in there, and this here is a little notepad for journaling. And that just tucks right in there. Another one of the digital um, with some lace on the edge as well as this one. Here's some more of that eyelet, um, eyelet lace. Here she has a corner tuck spot, has a flip up for journaling, and she has a Christmas card tucked in there. Isn't that cute? All kinds of journaling room, and there's room in that pocket for uh, more items as well. 
Um, here she has a little tuck spot in there with a Christmas card in there. And a little pocket in the bottom with a tag. And a cute little cluster on the top of that, a little snippet. And that's on coffee dyed paper. Here's the other side of the stitched wrapping paper. And then another little envelope clipped in on the um, the other side of the partial page here from Blue Fern Studio. And this is out of the Comfort and Joy. There's some lace on the edge of that. Here we have an embellished paper clip on the top. A little journal card tucked in up there on coffee dyed paper. And the back is decorated as well with another one. Another journal card tucked in there. Um, this is the other side of the Primo paper. And here we have a little fabric pocket with a cute little cluster on there. And an envelope tucked in there. And this is one of her envelopes that um, she does all kinds of mixed media things on. Stitches around, uses napkins, Mod Podge, all kinds of stuff. There's some lace on there. And uh, there is some lined paper folded up in there. Um, okay, that tucks in that little pocket right there. And that is on a book page, Christmas book page. Here we have a tuck spot on the top with a big journal card tucked in there. And you can journal on the coffee dyed paper as well. And then we have the back cover and we have little fuzzies here from our velvet. So this will keep, um, this will, you know, peel up and stuff on the edge and it, it'll look frayed, but that's, that's the look it's going for. So as it's held and handled, that will happen. Okay. So there is that. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, they are both available on Mixed Media Minnesota's um, Etsy shop. I'll share a link below the video. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.